Hi, I'm here at Bartley Car Presents British Summertime in Hyde Park. Delighted to be joined by our competition winner, Nish, who's the co-founder of Capdar. You're here at uh, Bartley Car Presents British Summertime. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you're going to use that as a platform for Capdar. It's very difficult for people to gauge what we're trying to do because it's something new. You know, people don't understand what, what is an off-cut to a general public. A fashion designer would know what an off-cut is, but general public don't. And just to educate them, and a platform like yours would really push us in forward. So there's a, a cool story around Kapta. Can you tell me a little bit about the business? Kapta basically means clop in Hindi, in Indian in language. The concept came about, uh, basically I was sitting with my mom and she's a fashion designer. Right, oh, okay. And we're just sitting in a studio and I see all these lovely offcuts, which are basically when a dress is created, there's always small pieces left over. So I sat down with her and one of her main designers, we cut down, came up with the first offcut product, which was a bookmark. Um, that's where we thought, ah, here's a business. My mum would be uh, delighted because she's actually an ex seamstress herself. So uh, uh, lots of offcuts around our house when we were growing up. So uh, send them across now. Yeah, yeah, we should do. <laughs> That's what we want. We want all the offcuts and we want all the old clothes moving forward to upcycle them. I know you're a customer of both Barclays and Barley yes. Card. Um, how have we helped you to, to grow your business? I think it was uh, sort of a natural transition that you know we're working with Barclays for so long. Yeah. And then the next thing came along was, okay, we have to start making payments, uh, we have to buy some raw materials in up front, mm -hmm. pay our suppliers, rather than squeezing our cash flow. Yeah. We just thought maybe Barclay Card would be a good idea. As a growing business, uh, we are now delighted to have some bigger customers on mm -hmm. our books. But with bigger customers, you have um, fixed timelines of you know, when they pay and when they won't pay. They're not going to change for you. Barclay Card uh, comes in handy because they offer the cash, uh, so interest-free cash for three months or so, yeah. which is really helpful because then you can use that as a cash flow until your payments come in and then you return the money back. Yeah. You don't pay any interest on that and that's really handy for a small mm. business like us. And since then it's just been growing year on year and we've been using all the facilities available. As a founder of a very successful small business, what's your top tips for any budding small business or entrepreneur out there? first thing has to be that you've got to be passionate about it. When you start a business, don't only think from the commercial point of view. It's the passion which will take you to the next level, to grow to the small, to medium, to medium, to large. The commercial aspect will come as a byproduct. The second thing is persistence. You can't just give up at the first problem. There'll be loads and loads of challenges because, trust me, if it was easy, everyone would run a business.